don't know what to say. I, I don't know. Look, the teaser has just dropped. It is the Nicolas Cage teaser. Nicolas Cage is coming to Dead by Daylight, and I don't know what to do with this information. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm in awe, shock, awe, never would I have expected Nicolas Cage. <laughs> so let's, let's watch this. There's nothing more powerful than imagination. Uh. It can shape the fabric of reality, transforming everything you may think you know. It's, just, it's Nicolas Cage. Like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Nicholas fucking Cage, Dead by Daylight. What, I, uh, what, do, what do I say to this? How do I react to this information? There's more shit, I know that's been leaked, so I'm gonna go get that real quick. So I'll be right back. I'm just still kind of in shock and awe. All right, give me a moment, guys. Okay, so I think this is the re leaked trailer for the anniversary event. Uh, I actually have already seen and looked over the leaks of what the killer and survivor look like, and I'll be more or less showing that in a moment. This it looks to harm the beautiful, by the way. It was supposed to help us build a safer home, but... Something happened. It became self aware. It has no empathy. It doesn't feel pain. It learns at an impossible rate, and it won't stop until we are dead. That's really fucking cool. That is so cool. Come. <clears throat> So this is the leaked trailer that we have, and as you can see, this is the killer right here. This is the survivor. We're getting this is Gabriel Soma, and the killer. As you can see, uh, I was actually very right about the arm. I want to say I I called the whole arm thing. If you look at that, that is clearly what the seven is. It's the arm of the killer, much like the six was the arm of the dreads. The seven is the arm of the killer. It's the weapon. It's a very very insectozoid looking thing. I nailed that being what it was more or less teasing in a way. But we have a monster a monstrous like mechanical killer. This is what people were hoping for when we had the skull merchant. And I said this in one of my previous ones. This is not the first time we've seen behavior more or less tease something ahead of time with an upcoming previous chapter that uh, can almost sort of tease it in a sense or in a way that we've seen like a killer come out and then a killer of similar type come out as the next killer. The Skull Merchant being a mechanical based killer, I think, I mean, they saw the hype that was coming for this, they knew we'd love this. And this is exactly what people wanted the Skull Merchant to be. Which is, it's awesome. It was in the cage down there. That's, that's awesome. You know, that's awesome. Alright, so here we have the singularity in its glory, and I love how it looks. And at least by the look of it, it seemed to have, like, some sort of thing that it was shooting off on survivors. So it might be a semi-range-based killer, but I love how they look. They look fucking awesome. In fact, they're getting a full AI killer is amazing, you know? So we have the year eight roadmap, which is huge. And honestly, I want to talk about some of the things I want to talk about here that are amazing. So first off, we see this. 
We know that this prop over here, Tome 16, the new survivor, is probably going to be the Nicolas Cage that we have, you know, that we just fought about. We don't know anything about this. We have multiple events just waiting for us. But here's the things I'm excited for. First off, Perp Meta Rework. We're going to get another rework uh, thrown into the mix. There is map balancing, which is, you know, always something they're kind of doing. Anti-camping. Now, I'm excited about this, guys. An anti-camp mechanic finally coming into the game. We already had an anti-camp uh, mechanic, more or less. Well, not an anti-camp so much as an, uh, I guess, an insta-anti-tunnel mechanic. It wasn't more anti-tunnel, it was more anti-camp, but still with the base kit borrowed time. But it doesn't stop a killer from camping. It just makes it less effective in getting that last person off. You know? So we're seeing uh, a... Probably something that can help deal more with disincentivizing actual camping instead of just you can still do it, it's just gonna be harder to confirm the kill afterwards if they get hooked. Uh, and then quality of life improvements load out search bars! We're gonna get a perk search bar, I'm pretty sure. And that's huge! It's needed that for ages, honestly. Player cards. What does that mean? I, I really wanna know what that means. Uh, survivor disconnect bots, so disconnects will leave survivor bots in the match, and that means that it will at least be a little bit easier for us to do a game, and that's huge. I love that, and I believe we were told that that was never going to be added. I believe they at one point in time said they did not at all have plans for that. They're still doing it anyways, and that's awesome. And then player report feedback. That's cool, you know? These are huge things, honestly. These these are huge. We also have Slipknot and Iron Maiden collabs coming, which is something very interesting that we're seeing some musical crossovers. You know, that's definitely a very interesting thing. But then we also have some more Dead by Daylight games coming here. A vision is multiplayer player versus enemy or PvE experience. Instead of facing against each other, up to four players can team up into another of the entity's realms and take on a host of deadly enemies that occupy it. The oh oh cool. This is gonna be a license killer. Nice to know. This is this is the map we're getting. Which it looks beautiful. I'm gonna be honest. I love it. This is giving me massive, like, alien planet vibes. And I know that's exactly what they're aiming for. And they fucking nailed it, man. It's gorgeous. I'm not... I don't think I've ever been so excited for a map in my life. I'm excited. You know... I, I love it. Ooh, parks will now be short side effects. You can be more than tabs closed. This is live now in a hotfix, so the hotfix will not be posted to platforms. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So... Okay, it's just some cosmetics. Oh, here we go, the the games here. So two different DVD games coming. Also take place outside of the Entities Realm with a new cast of characters for a single player interactive experience. You fucking know I'm gonna cover that on this channel. And... Uh, the themes of a center on greed and the lust for power. And then we have the other one here, which is the multiplayer PvE. And you know I'm excited for both of those. I'm trying to find them. Ooh, it's been teased so much lately in the tomes. They definitely found a new cast. That would actually be kind of nice. So yeah, that's kind of all that we have at this point. Massive leaks. We don't... We, we know the anniversary coming up at this point, And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm like a giddy kid in a candy shop because, I mean, how can you not be excited when what you're getting, you know, that we have is this gorgeous alien map with a fucking, like, really good AI, like, amalgamation monster thing. I love it! Normally, you need hype through a licensed chapter because the the recent content's not been great. I'm still so excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. So thank you guys for joining me on this. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.